Hello and welcome back to Excel Shade Academy. So we were doing RNA splicing and uh, let us just summarize first like what we have discussed in the previous class. Okay. So we have talked about the different mechanism that is like splices of machinery we have mentioned. Okay. So here like uh, Akshay you were not there. We will just summarize for you today. Uh, so what we have discussed yesterday was that in, in order to carry out the RNA splicing, so if you remember, we have also mentioned about the fire dye splicite and about the A branch side is the GU is the sequences which is present at the fire dye splicite. A is present at the branch side and then AG is present at the three dye splicite. Okay. So in order to carry out the splicing, so this is a part of exon. This is a part of exon. Here you have got your intron present. So we need to remove this interon. Now we have got this plasticism machinery. So this machinery over here, it has got several proteins which is involved in the uh, splicing. Okay. So first one is that to the fire dye splice, right? Your U1 comes. Okay. So all these are your small nuclear ribonucleo proteins are there in short known as nerves. Okay. So there are five are there. Five are there. Nomenclature is given as U1, U2, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so this is how it is given. Now, so at the phi dash price side, the U1 comes and interacts. At the branch side, BBP comes. So now what is BBP? It is your branch side or branch point binding protein. And to the 3 dash side, U2 AF6535 comes. Okay, so 65 is the largest subunit which is interacting with the branch side. 35 is the smaller subunit which interacts with the 3 dash price side. Okay, now, now once the BPP, that is, it makes sure that the A, which is present at the branch side, is protruded out so that it is available for the reactions to carry out. That is like the uh, breaking of the phosphodiester bond, etc. Okay, so once this is done, BPP leaves and U2 comes and interacts. Later, this is going to displace and the combination of 4, 5, and 6 will come. This is finally going to displace U1 and there will be a cut in the exon intron site over here. So this is a first, uh, br first breaking of the phosphodiester bond. Okay. Then it is going to act over here at the branch site. So here the 2 dash OH. Okay. 2 dash OH is going to have a nucleophilic attack on the uh, phosphate present over here and forms a lariat. So your intron forms a lariat not N, lariate, okay. Later, the 3 dash OH, which is present over here of the exon will have the nucleophilic attack of phosphate present over here. So, the resulting in the joining of the two exons and the removal of your uh, intron lariate along with the other splice, spliceosome machinery. So, later on, this will get disassembled and the introns will be chopped off or it will be degraded by the RNAs. So, this is how the spliceosome machinery works. Okay, these are the steps involved in the removal of the introns. So, there was this video which I wanted to share. So, we can watch it again. Uh, please uh, watch this. If any doubts are there, let me know. Okay. As DNA is transcribed into RNA, it needs to be edited to remove non-coding regions or introns shown in green. This editing process is called splicing, which involves removing the introns, leaving only the yellow protein coding regions called exons. RNA splicing begins with assembly of helper proteins at the intron-exon borders. These splicing factors act as beacons to guide small nuclear riboproteins to form a splicing machine called the spliceosome. The animation is showing this happening in real time. The spliceosome then brings the exons on the <coughs> other side of the intron very close together, ready to be cut. One end of the intron is cut and folded back on itself to join and form a loop. The spliceosome then cuts the RNA to release the loop and join the two exons together. The edited RNA and intron are released and the spliceosome disassembles. This process is repeated for every intron in the RNA. Numerous spliceosomes, shown here in purple, assemble along the RNA. Each spliceosome removes one intron, releasing the loop before disassembling. 
In this example, three introns are removed from the RNA to leave the complete instructions for a protein. Okay. Akshay, got the idea? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, uh, after the uh, splicing, are the uh, introns getting degraded? Huh. Yes. Okay. Huh. So, introns are nothing but your nucleotides only, right? So, they will be degraded to the nucleotides, which will be later used for the further transcription. Okay? okay. So, nothing gets wasted. Okay, so now uh, let's move ahead now. So the self-splicing introns reveal that RNA can catalyze RNA splicing. So these are the different types of the uh, intron splicing mechanism where RNA itself will be catalyzing its removal. Okay, so abhi humne kya dekha? it was using the help of the spliceism machinery. Okay, abhi kya hai? they themselves can catalyze the RNA splicing. So this is the like three classes of RNA splicing where we have discussed. Okay, so first we have nuclear pre-mRNA. So where normally the uh, uh, mRNA is being transcribed. Okay, and the mechanism is to trans esterification reactions. Branch A site is there. And this is done by the spliceism just now what we have seen. Okay, now we have got the other two mechanisms that is belonging to group 2 introns and group 1 introns. So they are rare and in only few eukaryotic genes it is present, maybe in the organelles or the in the case of the prokaryotes, rare, rarely it is present. Now in this case, group 2, the mechanism is same as that of the pre-mRNA, but instead of spliceosomes, we have got the ribozyme. Okay, same. Now coming to the group 1, it is again the two trans esterification reaction instead of branch A site here in the case of group 1 we have got G and the mechanism or the catalytic machinery is same as your group 1. Yani ki dono hi hamare ribozyme hai. Okay. So this table you need to understand in such a way that so you can understand kis mein kya similarities hai. So if you see uh, normally nuclear pre-mRNA and group 2 introns the mechanism is same. Okay, I mean, mechanism is same for all. Only difference is that here the branch site is A only, but in the case of group 1, we have got G. Okay, now the catalytic machinery, like how it is being carried out, it is with the spliceosomes, whereas in the case of the introns, group 1 and group 2, it is because of the ribozymes. Clear? So just go through once and you will be able to understand. So now I have got the diagram which will make the uh, what to say the uh, confusion dur karega. Now, first let's look at the uh, what you say, let's look at the spliceosome wala hi only. So, we know that you have got the branch site A, which go uh, which shows the nucleophilic attack, and yaha se attack hoga, yaha pe aapka branch banega, right? And finally, this will have attack over here, and finally, the exons are joined and the introns are removed, okay. Now, if you could see that over here in the case of group 2 cell splicing, you don't need any uh, machinery. It itself is acting as an enzyme. So, A, again it is present as the, at the branch site. So, this 2-OH nucleophilic attack over here, because of which what will happen, this will get joined. Okay. So, here also you can see that it is forming a lariate. Okay. It is also forming a lariate over here. Then 3-OH is attacking at the phosphate group present over here. Similarly, the two exons are joined and the lariate is removed. Whereas in the case of group 1 now, in the case of group 1, instead of A, you have got G present. Instead of 2 dash, you have got 3 dash. Can you see the difference? Okay. So, ye kya karega? Yaha pe isko attack karega. But what is happening? This G will get inserted over here. Yaha se hatke, wo yaha a jayega. Okay. And it is removed as a, uh, what to say, a linear intron. It is not forming a lariate. Can you see? Ultimately, the exons are joined, okay, fused, but your introns is not forming a lariate. Instead, it is forming a linear intron. And this will be degraded further. But both these two, okay, these two scenario, group 1 and group 2, it is the example of ribozymes. Clear? <coughs> Tanvi, it is clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's a very simple concept. Okay. Now, this is how they are showing. Ki, 
see when we saw in the case of the pre mrna the u2 u6 those machinery were forming the complementary base pair with your introns okay so this is how it was able to have the catalytic reactions okay for example let, let us look at over here so we had a 2 dash oh which was acting over here and joining and forming a lariat right and we have the complementary base pairing between the u2 and the introns similarly in the case of the ribozyme you can see that it itself forms a base pairing okay so those are known as domain 5 and domain 6 तो ये आपका इंट्रोन ही है जो एक दूसरे के साथ बेस पेयर करके हेल्प कर रहा है सेल्फ स्प्लाइजिंग में सो इट इज जस्ट मिमिकिंग द एक्टिविटी ऑफ योर स्प्लाइसिजो कैन यू सी कैन यू को रिलेट सो जहां पे यू सिक्स इज मेकिंग इंटरेक्शन विद यू टू सिमिलरली द डोमेन फाइव एंड डोमेन सिक्स आर मेकिंग इंटरेक्शन विद द इंट्रॉन तो ये आपका ये डोमेन सिक्स है ये आपका इंट्रॉन का पार्ट है विच इज मेकिंग ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री बेस पेयरिंग फाइनली द ए का टू टू डैश ओ एच इज अटैकिंग एट द जी यू ऑफ द इंटरऑन ओके सो इट इज इट सेल्फ ओके द राइट आर एन ए इट सेल्फ इज एक्टिंग एज द एंजाइम मिमिकिंग द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द स्पाइसिजोम एंड हेन्स रिजल्टिंग इन द आर एन ए स्पाइसिंग ओके so <clears throat> it is a mechanism this uh, which is required for uh, by you guys to understand okay diagram to koi nahi puchega but please do understand that uh, if the question comes like who is mimicking what and all so just remember u6 u2 are mimicked by the domain 5 and 6 of the group 2 rna self splicing interons okay now now the question comes so that was all about the rna self splicing now let's talk about this splicing itself how does the splices room make sure that these are the correct site at which i need to carry out the splicing right so we need some proof we need some authentication by which the splices rooms can make sure that jo bhi hum splice karne ja rahe hain those are the correct regions okay so everything needs to be uh, full proof checkpoint hone chahiye so here also so they prevent the use of incorrect sites by ensuring that the splice sites are close to the exons and are recognized preferentially ab ye kaise karte hain so they have got a different set of proteins okay those are known as the sr proteins which is standing for serine arginine rich proteins okay so they go and bind to the regions called exonic splicing enhancers okay they are present in the exons itself so till now what we have seen कि हमारे पास यहाँ पे अभी एक्सोन है इतना पोर्शन इंट्रॉन है लेट अस से ओके देन अगेन वी हैव गॉट एक्सोन सो दिस ईएसईस दैट इज एक्सोनिक स्प्लाइसिंग एनहांसर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन योर एक्सोन्स रीजन करेक्ट सो टू दिस योर एसआर विल कम एंड बाइंड दोस आर योर सेरिन आर्जिन रिच प्रोटीन्स एंड विल मेक श्योर दैट द स्प्लाइसाइट्स आर नियर टू देम एंड व्हिच विल मेक इट एफिशिएंट फॉर देम टू बाइंड okay so these sr proteins will recruit all your splices your machinery for example u2 af proteins and u1 at the 5 dash site and u2 af at the 3 dash site okay so this recruitment is either through the direct interactions between the sr proteins and the spliceisome proteins or it is with the rna irna hybrid which is formed during the spliceisome assembly so let's see how these sr proteins are helping look in the figure now you can see that uh, we have got the exons and introns okay now <clears throat> so what do we see over here in the exonic region itself you have got the exonic uh, splicing enhancers uh, units are present right so to this only the sr protein serin arginine rich proteins are binding now can you see that very nicely they are interacting with the u1 also as well as a uh, 35 also correct and we know that this region binds at the 3 dash splice site of the interon and u1 binds at the 5 dash uh, splice site of the interon clear so all these uh, proteins are making sure that they are present correctly the splices of machinery are present correctly and will carry out the further steps is this slides clear yes tanvi akshaya yes ma'am okay good so this is how the splices of machinery is making sure ki whatever regions they are going to remove are correct okay they are authentic regions to be removed 
<coughs> now there is another type of splicing which uh, in few cases of uh, viruses and the other uh, organisms it has been observed so it is known as trans splicing ab naam se hi pata chal raha hai that it is trans yani ki different different uh, it is okay now now see you have got rna1 and rna2 so what they are showing over here is that again it is the brand side and the guag sites are there which is normally present in the intron jo abhi tak hum padhte aa rahe hain correct so only difference is that ye exon 1 ka intron hai and ye exon 2 ka intron hai so these are getting joined or fused and later yahan ka jo 3 oh aayega after you know making a cut and all this will go and act over here so those exons are getting fused so what is happening two different exons are getting fused samajh mein aa raha hai this is rna1 this is totally separate mrna this is totally separate mrna the two different mrnas are present their introns are getting fused and their exons are getting fused now what kind of shape is this so when they showed like this they call it as lariate now what kind of shape is this for you guys kaun sa letter lagta hai ye aapko y yes y. so it is also known as y shaped splicing theek hai if in the exam they are not mentioning trans splicing then they will mention as y shaped splicing tab aapko answer kya dena hai that the splicing is happening between two different mrnas or rnas ओके क्लियर तो अब तक हम क्या डिस्कस कर रहे थे कि विद इन द सेम एम आर एन एग्जाम गेटिंग फ्यूज हियर इट इज डिफरेंट आर एन ए इसका एग्जॉन एंड एग्जॉन साथ में आके फ्यूज हो रहे हैं एंड दीज इंट्रॉन आर गेटिंग फ्यूज इन द शेप ऑफ दी वाई ओके क्लियर सिंपल टॉपिक इज जस्ट दैट टू मार्क्स के लिए एक बार ये क्वेश्चन आया था दैट्स ऑल वेरी सिंपल एक्सक्यूज मी ओके now let's come to the alternate splicing okay so alternate splicing alternative splicing itself is telling you like what kind of splicing it is going to result so guys if you remember <coughs> okay so we have discussed about this uh, when we were starting about you know the rna splicing if you remember uh, we discuss about the vdj recombination i have mentioned about this kind of recombination vdj uh, which results in increasing the diversity in the case of your antibodies if you remember so this is for your variable diversity in joining genes so alternate splicing says that it is the same gene it will give you the transcript and that transcript depending on the differences in the splicing can result in the production of different types of protein understood let's see the figure that will be more clear <clears throat> so if you see over here we have got the primary rna transcript so we have got exon 1 2 3 4 and 5 are there this light green color things are your introns correct okay now if the splicing happens and i got the sequence as 1 2 4 and 5 so there is uh, there is no exon 3 taken okay this results in the formation of splice mrna beta troponin capital t okay now if suppose the splicing happens in such a way that 1 2 3 no 4 and 5 has been taken then it results in the formation of your alpha troponin t so it is the same transcript which will result in the different forms of your protein so alpha beta just one or two domains are here and there because of the alternate alternative splicing it will give you different isoforms of the protein clear so if you see here it is alpha this is beta so just because of the shuffling not shuffling for it just because of the differences in the exons rearrangement you are getting different expressions of the protein clear now we can uh, this will be more clear as we see more examples now it is not that like always 1 2 3 and 1 3 or 1 2 only you will get so there are many ways by which the uh, rna can get spliced so here they have shown five mechanism by which the rna splicing can be done so now you know the mechanism behind the splicing either it can be your spliceosome 
और ग्रुप टू ग्रुप वन इंट्रोन आर एन एस प्राइसिंग ठीक है वो एक डिफरेंट सेनारी हो गया नाउ वॉट इज ए एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिसंग सो दो कैन वेरी फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिज्म टू ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल आईदर यू कैन हैव नॉर्मली सो लेट इज कंसिडर दैट वी हैव गॉड हियर थ्री एग्जोन्स आर देर ओके एंड वी हैव गॉड टू इंट्रॉन्स okay let us see this example so you got the pri uh, primary transcript also now if the splicing happens normally then you should get a normal splice mrna where it has got all the three exons correct now if i get only one three it is known as exon got skipped okay if i have 1 2 3 but can you see what this portion indicates from this what you will understand if this portion has been included what does it mean intron part is there yes correct so when someone says in literature or when you read a research publication if they say that the exon extended um, primary uh, mrna uh, transcript it is then it means that extension means that the entire intron is not being removed okay so it is present over there now intron retained what does it mean the entire re intron has been retained over here correct now over here look at see so either you can have 1 3 or 1 2 so these are alternative ex exons right the combination so yahan pe kya tha yahan pe humne ek exon skip kar diya so you will have 1 3 we can also have 1 2 i am skipping the third one so these are the different forms by which you can get the exons so you have seen that it is not necessary that every time the complete intron is being removed either a part of the intron will be retained or the entire intron will be retained theek okay? hai not necessary that only this intron aisa bhi ho sakta hai that you can get one two and little portion of this intron present over here and then three so if you ask why this is happening it's all in order to create diversity in the organism okay in the species so all these are going to result in some form of differences in the protein structure so even though it is the same gene it is the same primary rna transcript but once it gets expressed at the translation level you are going to have different forms of the protein having different functions and this is going to vary from organism to organism okay is this much clear so we have got one example also yes so the example is of about the monkey civian virus okay uh, 40 so it has got t capital t antigen and small t antigens are there so these are the main two antigen which is encoded by this virus okay so the two proteins result from the alternative splicing of the pre mrna from the same gene so now let's see uh, so both of course the capital t and small t antigen they have got the different functions so large t induces transformation and cell cycle reentry इसका मतलब क्या इफ यू हैव गॉट इन्फेक्शन बाय द लार्ज टी एंटीजन देन द सेल इज अंडर गोइंग टू बिकम कैंसर ओके नाउ द स्मॉल टी ब्लॉक्स ए पॉपटॉक्टिक रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सेल्स फोर्स ऑन दैट पार्ट सो द रेशियो ऑफ द टू व्हिच इज फॉर्म डिफर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द लेवल ऑफ द स्प्लाइसिंग रेगुलेटर एस एफ टू एंड ए एस एफ सो व्हिच इज योर स्प्लाइसिंग रेगुलेटर इन द केस ऑफ द सिविन वायरस फोर्टी इट इज एस एफ टू ए एस एफ ओके ऐसे याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है इट जस्ट फॉर यू टू फॉर फॉर यू गाइस टू अंडरस्टैंड ओनली नाउ व्हेन दीज आर प्रेजेंट एट द हाई लेवल द प्रोटीन डायरेक्ट द मशीनरी टू फेवर द यूज ऑफ द 5 डैश इट इज 5 डैश गाइस ओके इट्स नॉट 50 इट इज 5 डैश स्प्लाइसाइड दैट जनरेट्स मोर ऑफ द टी एंटीजन एमआरएनए ओके अब इसे क्या समझ में आ रहा है इफ आई हैव गॉट मोर ऑफ 5 डैश स्प्लाइसाइड देन इट इज टी एंटीजन now sf2 asf is an sr protein and when it is more it binds sites within the exon 2 and helps this process to assemble there okay now these together the binding of the sr on the exons uh, so we know that the exons bind to the esc regions within the exons so all these are known as the cassettes okay exon cassettes ye kuch nahi hai exon cassettes okay <clears throat> so what is the take away message over here that we have got the t antigen And small t antigen, 
this is responsible to, for transforming the cell and the cell cycle and re-entry. And if you stop your mitosis, ke baad, it is not stopping, it is just continuing. Okay. And small t antigen is blocking your apoptosis. Now, this is all depending on like whether the expression of uh, the mRNA should be giving you capital T or small t. It depends on the it depends on the splicing regulator. Okay. Now let's see the figure is there, which will make it clear. Okay. So here we have got the primary transcript. Okay, so let's see the primary transcript is present. Now, if you see, we have got this top codon present over here. Okay, so now when we have got this, okay, the small t antigen is encoded by the longer of the two mRNAs. Small t is encoded by the longer of the two mRNAs over here. Okay, so now if suppose here, if it is containing the mRNA, okay. If you see, this much of the entronic region has been retained <clears throat> in the mRNA. When it is translating, what will happen? You have got the stop code on here itself. So, the protein which will be synthesized will be of this much only. Are you getting point? Yes? And repeat. Okay, I'll repeat once again. <clears throat> so, uh, what are these SST and all? We'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. So, you have got the exon 1, <clears throat> top codon sequences are over here, and then you have got the exon 2. Now, you have got your primary, TR, uh, primary RNA transcript. So, where it has got one, the intron region, and your uh, second exon region. This is your DNA. Now, you got your RNA. Now, when I say mRNA, <coughs> it is your spliced mRNA. Okay? This is primary without splicing. Only mRNA when it is said, it is your spliced mRNA. Now, as we have seen earlier, the after splicing, there are chances that you are going to retain the intron part. So, if, as you can see over here, the exon 1 is retained. One second. Huh? Exon 1 is retained. And you can also see a part of intron. A part of intron is also retained. And then exon 2 is there. Is this much is clear? Exon 1, a part of intron and exon 2. Yeah. Now, when this is being trans, uh, translated, so what do we, we, what we have seen is that there is a presence of stop codon. Now, stop codon will come in the beach. So, obviously, it will stop here itself. Correct? So, what we get is the small pro, uh, polypeptide chain. So, if the splicing is in such a way that the introns is being retained, then you are going to get T antigen. Okay? Are we clear? Eh? Now, if the intron is completely removed and I get only exon 1 and 2, then I am going to get this T antigen. Now it is clear. So, retaining intron part is also a part of splicing mechanism by which there is a difference in the expression of the proteins. So, these antigens are nothing but proteins only. Now, depending on the signal, what they get, okay, the mRNA is going to get uh, translated in such a way that either you are going to get small t antigen or you are going to get a capital T antigen. Okay, now it is clear. Now, let us see what is these SST. Okay, so this SST refers to, agar main yaan pe bol rahi hoon, that it has got phi dash SST. It refers to the phi dash fly site. Okay, phi dash fly site used to generate the larger tmRNAs. Agar main yaan bol rahi hoon, okay, phi dash small SST. So it is the phi dash fly site for the small t. Okay, then we have got 3 dash Splicide used in generating both mRNAs. Is it clear the concept of SST? Nay. It just means that, see, if I have capital T, chahiye, so the capital SST, here is my sequence. Hai, so all my splices and machinery will come and sit over here to remove introns from here and here. Okay? Clear? In the case of capital T. Now, but if I have to remove 
uh, for my small t, then the splicing is happening between this and this. So only this much region is removed. Up clear it? Akshaya, is it clear? Or should I repeat this SST wala part? Yes. Okay, I'll repeat. Okay, this much is clear to you that uh, if the intron is being retained, a part of intron is being retained, then you get small t antigen. When everything is removed, the complete intron is removed, you get capital T antigen. Is that clear? Hai, dono ko? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is not understood is this SST wala part. Okay. Now, <clears throat> SST ka matlab kya hai? It is your phi. See, when they say phi dash capital S capital S T, it means splice. It is your splice site for your capital T antigen. Okay. So the splices of machinery will come and sit over here, make the interactions over here. Okay. If you remember your splices of machinery, U1 comes and it sits over here. And to the branch side, it comes and does sit over there and make the laryt and all, etc. Correct? So, in the case of capital T antigen, the splices of machinery is going to sit over here and at 3 dash SST. Okay? So, here U1 will be there, here your U2, AF, 65, 35 will come and then they will remove the entire intron in the form of the laryt. This is just like normal splices of machinery between two exons. Is this much clear now? Are we clear here? Yes, ma'am. These are the regions where your splicing machinery is going to sit. Now, when you talk about your small SSC, that is for phi dash splice site for your small t, it is. Okay, it is for your small t. So, usko hum kya bol rahe hai? That splices of machinery should sit in such a way that the resulting in future I should get a small d antigen. So the splices of machinery kaha bethega? Yaha bethega. So u1 yaha bethega. And similarly, u2 af jo hai aapka normally wo aapka 3 dash site mein hi bethega. So how much introns will be removed? So this much of the introns. So this much of the intron has been removed and rest all is retained in your matured splices mRNA. Are we clear? Hai? So it is these sequences which is present, which is deciding that ha ki mere splices of machinery yaha ke baitna chahiye and itna intron hatana hai. It is not a random chance, okay? It is not happening randomly. It is all predetermined in the sequences. Now, do you understand like why introns are important? We do say that in our uh, genome, so much of introns are there, but they are not junk. They do carry the information. They do decide what kind of proteins are needed to be expressed after translation. Are we clear here? Yes. Okay. Both of you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is the sequences which decide. So an example tha ki kaise agar hum intron retain kar rahe hain mRNA mein, so what kind of protein we can get? Without introns, we always say that without introns, exons are there, they will be converted into the protein after translation, right? But we also have introns carrying the information. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> now. Now. So till now we discuss all about T splices of machinery kaisi hai. We also discuss about cell splicing introns. Okay. Now <clears throat> there are certain enhancers. Okay. The activators and repressors are there. So as we discussed earlier that in the exonic uh, splicing enhancers, for example, SR ke baare mein humne pada jaha pe serine, arginine rich proteins are coming and helping these splices of machinery in order to carry out the splicing. Correct. So we do also have the proteins which is going to help like the rate of splicing they're going to increase and we do also have proteins which is going to silence like they are not telling you they are telling you not to splice. Okay. So we have got the repressors as well as the enhancers. So if you see in this example in this example if you see so we have got normal this is your normal scenario where the splicing sites are there, repressor sites are there, splicing machinery will come and it will remove your introns and you will get the mRNA. Okay? Splice mRNA you will get. Now, 
if you have got this scenario where the repressor is present okay and it is telling you that we don't want splicing to happen so what will happen the repressor will go in bind now since repressor is binding to that region your splicing machinery cannot sit already waha pe ek bind hua hai to dusra ke nahi baith sakta hai now this is only happens when the splicing site ka information that is sequence information is overlapping your repressor ka sequence information so because of this what will happen agar aapka splicing machinery baitha hai then repressor cannot sit and splicing will happen but if the repressor is sitting over here then your splicing machinery cannot sit and the splicing mechanism will not happen clear simple repressor present hai splicing nahi hoga so what you are going to have the unsplice mrna but again this is all this all information is provided ki mujhe splicing karna hai ya nahi karna hai. and depending on that you're going to have the uh, protein expression now second scenario where you have got splicing machinery and you have got the enhancers so if it is sitting the now in this case if you don't have the enhancers okay if you don't have the enhancers the splicing machinery cannot proceed with the splicing so here the splicing machinery meets the requirement of the enhancer proteins theek hai ab enhancer nahi hai splicing nahi hoga enhancer hai splicing hoga correct so here you have got the enhancers or the activators so unless until they come and activate your splices of machinery it is not going to splice so here you need the activator in order to have the spliced rna here if you have got the repressor then you are going to have unspliced rna clear am i going fast akshaya can you are you able to follow simple or should i go a little slow it's fine okay i mean once you listen again you will be able to understand i mean you will be able to remember also yeah simple okay so we do have enhancers and the repressors for your spliceosome so abhi tak humne kya dekha in the spliceosome so we talked about the spliceosome machinery correct we talked about self splicing rna so where you need to talk about intron 1 and 2 theek hai then we talked about uh, then what did we talk ha uh, then we talked about the trans splicing then next we talked about the alternative splicing in which we discussed like how uh, retaining the intron part or not retaining the introns will result in the expression of two different uh, proteins let it be antigen where we have seen the example of sb40 it is your civian virus 40 uh, found in the monkeys okay so this is what we all discussed now in order to enhance these splices of machinery we have got the enhancers and the repressors so if you have got the repressor present no splicing will be happening if you have enhanced then only the splicing will happen no enhanced no splicing no repressor splicing is there okay simple now the another important topic is about the exon suffling so like how you have got the alternate splicing which results in the formation of new protein expression exon suffling is also something like that which will result in the formation of new genes see ab wahan pe kya tha 1 2 3 tha agar 1 3 ho jayega so we are getting what a different expression so this protein expression is going to be different from this similarly if all these genes are getting shuffled like 1 3 2 ho ja raha so i'm going to get a different itself right this is going to be new gene itself so it is a molecular mechanism for the formation of new genes it's a process through which two or more exons from different genes can be brought together or you can have the uh, creating the new exon intron structure if you can duplicate the same exon suppose 1 2 2, two kar de rahi ho so 1 2 3 1 1 2 uh, so even though the number or the same exon it is but if i have got these exon reshuffled okay the arrangement of these exons are different obviously these are going to result in three different protein expression okay now let's see uh, more in detail 
so exon duplication so you have got the parental chromosome which is carrying all these exons 1 2 3 okay so you are having exon 2 exon 2 exon 3 exon 3 is there now if suppose recombination is happening and it is having the unequal crossing over which is possible so what will happen so instead of having a complete recombination you are going to uh, have exon 1 2 3 and 3 so what is happening over here exon 3 is getting duplicated <coughs> okay so in future when this is going to uh, give the transcription it is going to have 1 2 3 and 3 so this particular gene is going to be different now and this particular chromosome is going to give you now exons 1 and 2 so the expression of this gene and expression of this gene is going to be different now ye kyun hua because of the exon duplication and this is how you bring about the diversity in the proteins okay now this is exon duplication what if the entire gene is getting duplicated so here uh, in this example this one thing was considered as one gene theek hai gene ke andar exon ye ho gaya aapka pehla example now let's talk about if the gene is getting duplicated so if you have got the gene this is the entire globin gene is there and here you have got the another globin gene now because of again similar recombination which is happening unequal you are going to have two genes over here in the same recombinant chromosome and the other is not having okay so this will result in the gene duplication this is just similar to your uh, sorry i should say in the other way around so how the gene duplication happens in the same way the exon duplication also happens so this will study in more much more detail when we'll start doing about the genetics okay similarly the gene gets duplicated in the same way the exons are also getting duplicated just because of the unequal crossing over okay now let's see for a few more examples and it will be more clear now before we proceed why introns are rare almost non existent in bacteria can you guess the answer why does a bacteria does not have introns is it like they got lost or it, it never existed और ऐसा क्यों है कि यू कैरियोट्स में इतना सारा एंट्रॉन्स है यस देन वी व्हाट डू थिंक व्हाट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस एनी गेसेस हैम टू क्रिएट डाइवर्सिटी दैट इज इन द केस ऑफ यू कैरियोट्स राइट इफ आई एम आस्किंग व्हाई एंट्रॉन्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द बैक्टीरिया देन Yes. Uh, ma'am, is it because uh, the uh, there is no uh, complex function uh, in bacteria, and the uh, size of the gene is also very uh, uh, small yes. when compared to eukaryotes. This is one correct point that the size of the DNA is small as compared to the eukaryotes. Okay. so uh, bacteria are under pressure that they have got a small genomic dna and they need to rip, uh, what do say they need to divide fast because as a single bacteria they can't do anything so they need to have more colonies so there is a pressure on them because it is easy to destroy such a small living beings right so they are under pressure and that's why they don't want to waste the time in you know replicating or transcribing introns region so there was a pressure on them for not having the introns and having only the functional uh, regions in the dna okay now who is deciding all this the evolution now uh, why does it happen like why in the case of eukaryotes we have got so as the eukaryotes were growing of course there was increasing uh, there was increase in the complexity in order to have more diversity so diversity sabse zyada kaise aayegi when you have got more introns and how these introns number got increased by mixing of the dna many a time these eukaryotes were getting infected by these uh, virus so unka genome waha pe insert ho ja raha tha by next time even though if you are resistant to the viral attack but the 
small part of the virus got integrated into your genome. So in the next round of replication, that has become now your genome part, okay? Even though it is now known as interons. So this is why, and plus, जैसे जैसे आप कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ज्यादा है द चांसेस ऑफ हैविंग मिस्टेक्स ड्यूरिंग द रेप्लीकेशन इज मोर सो इट्स ओके इफ द मिस्टेक्स आर हैपनिंग इन द इंट्रॉनिक रीजन सो द चांसेस ऑफ हैविंग लेस मिस्टेक्स इन द एग्जॉन्स रीजन आर इंक्रीज वेन देर वॉज इंक्रीज इन द इंट्रॉनिक रीजन सो दीज आर दंसर्स लाइक एवोल्यूशनरिस्ट हैव थॉट अबाउट इट बाई गिविंग सच एंसर्स ओके so this is just to think about it nothing like uh, no uh, no i am sure nobody is going to ask about this okay so there are two models which uh, talk about the exon shuffling introns early model so introns existed in all organism but have been lost from the bacteria just because of the natural selective pressure was there so they became good gene rich uh, organism or then we have got the another model which says that intron late model so introns never existed in bacteria but arose later in the evolution so as the diversity was increasing the evolution has started adding the introns in the uh, genome of the eukaryotes okay so these are the models as i said before also models are something which the scientists or the researchers have hypothesized okay we don't have as a hardcore experimental evidence to prove it okay okay So these are the methods. Now, what are the advantages of having the presence of the introns? The presence of introns uh, and the need to remove them. Okay, it gives an opportunity of the alternate splicing, which can generate multiple proteins now from a single gene. So how we have seen just now, right? From the single gene, from the single pre-mRNA transcript. Now, because of the uh, uh, presence of the introns, the exon shuffling can be done. The alternate splicing can be done, right? Now you can have different isoforms of the protein. Secondly, having the coding sequences of genes divided into several exons allow genes for the reshuffling exon. Same thing. Now, what are the evidence which proves that uh, that these things are present? Okay, so the borders between the exons and introns within a given geno gene often coincide with the borders between the domains within the protein encoded that gene. Acha. So for this, you need to have more of the structural uh, st structural knowledge. so if you see the uh, see the structure of the proteins where these domains are present every time whenever you see any protein domain region is present always the start and end of the domain there there you are going to have the intronic region also okay so that has proved that the introns are always present exons introns are always present okay clear Clear. So they have got this. I uh, will make a little diagram and I can explain. I hope I will be able to show. So let us say that this is exon one, intron one, exon two. Okay. Now let us say that this is coding for one protein domain and this is coding for another protein domain. Now what we have seen is that at the border, ये जो sequence रहता है, ठीक है? At the border of the exon and intron, the sequences. Many a times, as we know, during the alternate splicing, many a times the part of the introns are also retained in the primary transcript, pre-mRNA transcript. Correct. So this intronic region can also be seen at the C terminal of your protein domain. Okay. So uska kuch kam nahi hai, but since in order to get a proper structure of the domain, it is present. Abhi thoda sa samjha. Yes, should I repeat? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So many genes and the proteins they encode, they have got the, uh, they have apparently arisen due to, uh, during evolution as part of exon duplication and divergence. What we have already seen. Okay. So these are the people who says that you know, ki uh, agar ham domain structure properly analyze karenge, so we can see that certain intronic sequences are also present. That's all. Now the main. Part. This is the last topic of RNA splicing and the important one. जितने भी आज तक कोई अगर question आया है, as I mentioned before also, mainly they will ask from your like splices or machinery. Okay, they we or the second important topic is RNA editing. So as now you can see, we have discussed कि कैसे हम किसी भी gene product को हम change कर सकते हैं with the help of the alternate splicing. और एग्जॉन शफलिंग ठीक है सो आरएनए एडिटिंग इज योर थर्ड मैकेनिज्म बाय विच 
you can change the sequence of your mrna so these are the three mechanism by which the sequence of the mrna will be changed before translation and then only it enters your translation stage okay so i believe that now alternate splicing exon shuffling is clear to you guys clear can i say at least the concept is clear yeah now let's talk about this third mechanism that is rna editing so here also we have got two ways by which rna editing can be done ab yahan pe kya ho raha hai let us assume that the alternate splicing or exon shuffling ke baad you got your mrna theek hai now again there was a sequence change required then you are going to edit the rna now when you say edit the rna it's like literally you are inserting or changing the nucleotide sequences for example before i proceed i'll just uh, say one example so let, let us say that you have got the uh, cc sequences present as a codon right so but later uh, the sequence uh, later the information was given to the cell is that this particular thing should be uaa okay now what is happening cytosine se uracil ban raha so there is a deamination okay deamination procedure happening so cytosine mein agar aap amino group hata doge so that will become uracil now you tell me what is uaa coding for stop codon correct so if i have got the rna usme yahan pe caa tha let it uh, code for something i don't remember it is coding for something but if i go and edit like i make sure that the c me se maine amino group hata diya c becomes uaa so once this is going to translate it will get stopped here itself correct so now this mrna is synthesizing or giving information or oh, sorry getting translated into some other protein jo itna bada banna chahiye tha jo itna chota hi bana so this is one way by which you can change the fate of the mrna okay and the second mechanism is by which there is a guided rna okay guided rna it is also known as g rna they go and help in inserting the certain nucleotides in between of these sequences okay so they break the phosphodiester bond between the rna mrna insert the new sequences and reseal it with the help of the rna ligase तो जिससे क्या होगा आपने नया सीक्वेंस ऐड किया है सो ऑब्वियसली नए न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स ऐड किए हैं सो ऑब्वियसली द सीक्वेंस इज गोइंग टू चेंज एंड नाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर एमआरएनए इज गोइंग टू कोड फॉर समथिंग एल्स ओके इतना क्लियर हो गया है अक्षय तनवी लाइक हाउ दीस टू आर देयर ए क्या करता है सी को सीधा ए करता है बाय हैविंग द डीएमिनेशन रिएक्शन ए क्या करता है इट जस्ट गोस एंड बेस पेयर विद द आरएनए एंड break the phosphodiester bond between the rna and insert new nucleotides and reseal it okay so these are the two ways by which it is doing so now let's see in detail how this mechanism is being achieved okay so rna editing is another way of changing the sequence of an mrna it allows it is an another mechanism that allows rna to be changed after transcription to encode different protein okay encoded by the gene so there are two methods that is site specific deamination guide rna directed uridine insertion or deletion so abhi kya ho raha hai site specific deamination so jaise ki maine bataya caa aapka uaa ban raha hai so stop codon aa jayega it is going to code something else now guide rna or grna it is directing the insertion of the uridine or deletion of the uridine okay तो यू जो यूरासिल ग्रुप है वो आपका आइडर इंसर्ट होगा या डिलीट होगा नाउ लेट्स सी मोर लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल नाउ इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू हैव एन एग्जांपल फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो दिस इज अ टिश्यू स्पेसिफिक मैनर बाय डीएमिनेशन ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक सिटीडिन टू जनरेट अ यूरिडिन सो सी से हम यू में जा रहे हैं एंड द एंजाइम इज नोन एज सिटीडिन डीएमिनेस ओके सो व्हाट डू वी सी ओवर हियर सो देयर इज अ कोडॉन ऑफ 2153 okay and at the exon number 26 of the pre mrna what is happening you have got the spliced mrna aapne sare introns hata diye okay now this is your spliced version now if this is encoded into the liver okay there is no editing so this particular mrna is going to get translated to a protein which is 
हैविंग फोर फाइव सिक्स थ्री एमिनो एसिड प्रोटीन ओके सो इट मीन सी ए है जो आपका ग्लूटामिन कोड करता है Now let us say that this particular mRNA was transcribed and it is in the intestine. So it is happening over there. The site-specific deamination is happening there. Your citrullin deaminase is activated and it converts your CAA codon to UAA, which is a stop codon. So what will happen? It will just code till here, and that will be your around two two thousand one hundred fifty-three amino acid protein. Okay. clear so depending on the tissue specificity the site specific deamination will be carried out in order to get different expression of the protein but from the same gene it's the same gene giving you different protein function or protein expression okay clear is this example is clear yes ma'am okay now there is another protein which can do the same okay to hame maloom hai cytosine mein bhi amino group hai and we also have got the adenosine having the amino group so in the case of cytosine there was citrullin deaminase which was removing the amino group from the cytosine to get the uracil now another enzyme is called adar this is important ye exam mein aa chuka hai okay adar which stands for adenosine deaminase which is acting on the rna adenosine deaminase acting on the rna so what it is doing it is removing the amino group from the adenosine now once the amino group is removed from the uh, amino group is removed from the adenosine it forms inosine okay later this inosine can base pair with the cytosine and overall the entire mrna sequence will get changed so how they are doing that is also shown in the figure so you can have cytosine amino group is removed it becomes uracil now if you have got the guan oh, sorry adenine then the amino group is removed it becomes inosine clear so this is one way by which the site specific deamination can happen now let's talk about the guide rna directed uridine insertion or deletions okay so here multiple us can be inserted or it can be deleted now this kind of rna editing happen in the mitochondria of the trypanosomes what are trypanosomes yes what are trypanosomes Protozoans, huh? They are protozoans, correct? They are the parasitic protozoans. Very good. Okay, so they have got this kind of RNA editing. Now, so U's are inserted into the message by the guide RNA. Let's see. So let us say that this is your unedited RNA. This is your mRNA. Okay. Now, is mRNA me? Abhi aapka extra u add hoga so how it is done so this guide rna is going to have the poly u stretch okay then the editing region which is going to base pair with this so you can see gc base pair ho raha hai right so jahan jahan base pairing nahi ho raha hai wahan wahan pe wo insert karega bhi now the anchor directing the guide rna to the region of the mrna it is going to edit now when you say anchor iska matlab kya there has to be a proper base pairing then you can see a u g c c g so here you can have the proper sorry one more is a proper base pairing happening correct then you have got the poly u stretches there now this is the region where now they are going to add the u okay now this is very crucial to understand let's go slowly slowly okay yeah so the first scenario okay first scenario what do we see we have got the dna we have got the rna and the extra u has been inserted because of which the protein expression is changed okay now how it is being done let's see one second okay okay now look at over here so you have got the mrna you have got the grna can you see it now these are the site where the u are going to get inserted now how it is being done 
how it is being done can you see they make a base pairing over here now wherever it is not matching properly okay see yahan pe unhone extra add kar diya hai endonuclease is there to jahan jahan mismatch hoga wahan wahan ko they will make a cut so when i say cut what does it mean they are breaking the phosphodiester bond of the rna they are going to add u so utps will be added okay of course i need rntps right so utp will be added and that is complementary to your rna ka जीआरएनए सो जीआरएनए इज गोइंग टू हैव ए ए सो उसके ऑपोजिट में यू आर गोइंग टू ऐड यू ओके कैन यू सी इट दे हैव एडेड यू एंड लेटर दिस गैप ओके दिस गैप इज प्रेजेंट राइट सो दैट विल बी जॉइंड बाय द आरएनए लाइगेस एट द एंड क्लियर सो व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज इन द केस ऑफ द जीआरएनए एडिटिंग दैट इज गाइड आरएनए एडिटिंग दे ऐड अ स्ट्रेच ऑफ यू and now that is done by the sequence uh, followed on to the grna having poly u stretch should be there okay they need to have the editing region and the anchor region so once it is being formed properly the anchor region is formed okay they base pair properly then the endonuclease will come it is going to make a phosphodiester break then the extra us will be added opposite to the a which is present on to the grna ka sequence then what is happening the rna ligase will come and it is going to reseal and this is how the extra us are added into the sequences so at the end what is happening you are going to get a sequence where g a u u g u a u all these are added okay clear is this part is clear guys grna it is important for you to understand just look at the figure once ye sab ko same hai theek hai so we just wanted to start like from the dna sequence to get this and these are the regions where u must be added so the end product is this you are going to get abhi kaise hua hai wo mechanism yahan pe diya hai so you have got the unedited rna grna they make a complementary base pairing then the endonucleus cut makes a cut adds the u and like is reseal it simple yes 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 anything can we clear akshay able to follow yes sir okay good guys yeah so that's all and uh, here now i can say that the rna is splicing the complete transcription is being done okay so this is completed and uh, in the next session okay that is uh, in the next session we'll be starting with the translation so what is left now is only the two topics the translation uh, that also will be completing translation thoda sa bada hai as compared to transcription if you could see dna replication dna damage was lengthy transcription chota raha then translation is very lengthy actually because here initiation elongation and termination okay the translation of the prokaryotes and eukaryotes hell lot of proteins are there abhi kaise humne dekha tha that elongation was not having those many protein factors right uh, the transcription factors and all but here we have got so many factors the translation factors are there okay so this is going to be a little lengthy and then last what is left is the regulation of gene so this also will be doing so these two topics are left and then we'll uh, will be done with the mole bio and then we'll start with the cell bio okay any doubts uh, do you want to ask guys can we ask you kuch puchna hai what you can do is like jo bhi aap um, videos dekhte ja rahe ho like whatever i am uploading even if you have got doubt in the previous lectures and if suppose you are watching now and koi doubt aa raha hai so please put into the group so that we all can discuss theek hai is that okay with everyone okay okay ma'am yeah chalo then bye bye good night good night